what's going on with Todd and Julie Christie. Todd and Julie Christie are speaking out about the very sad, heartbreaking time for their family after they were convicted of conspiracy to defraud banks of more than 30, 30 million dollars in loans in a conversation on the latest episode of their podcast, Chrisley's Confessions. The reality stars were hesitant to discuss their journey. Here's the main thing. There's a $30 million fraud against them. Todd and Julie Chrisley is facing prison time. I mean, prison time. How did they get there? Let's see. And let me tell you something. I love this show. I sit down every week to watch this show. So I just think they're funny. I think Todd just say some crazy things that you never think he would say. So to be held with conspiracy of fraud and bank fraud is just a new one to me. I just, and then prison time? What does the future hold? They were convicted of tax evasion and fraud earlier this month, but a lot of questions still remain, including how much prison time could they be facing? Now, if I was Julie Chrisley, I, this girl would be scared. It's pretty serious. The Beverly Hills-based legal analyst, Jeffrey, somebody, who is not affiliated with the case exclusively, says it's significant in two ways. One, it's an enormous monetary number and significantly enormous numbers draw enormous jail time. Secondly, since they have been on the air and are famous personalities, most prosecutors tend to give heavier sentences to bank fraud and tax fraud cases in an effort to deter non-celebrity people from committing the same crime. Well, number one, we're not gonna try to figure out how to fraud the bank out of $30 million. Normal people like me. <laughs> now, bank fraud, tax evasion, prison time. After the duo's indictment in 2019, Todd denied the allegations against them in a lengthy statement, claiming that the charges stemmed from his former employee, Mark Braddock's attempt to get revenge on the couple. Now you do know, every time you go into business with someone and something go wrong, the other person gonna get revenge on you. So here's my thing. I always make sure I know I'm in business with somebody I know. And another thing, number two, I don't do nothing wrong. I'm like Kevin Hart. All your money that come in, say $10 million, one third go to the IRS off the, bat, after, off the bat. One third go to my bills, off the bat. The last third goes to me. I keep it straight, that's Kevin Hart. I agree with him. Meanwhile, alleged that Todd and Julie obtained more than 30 million in loans by lying about their income. They made up documents and they lie through their teeth to get whatever they want, whenever they want, and however they want, the lawyer said in court. All the squibbity spots, right? They aren't sure what this means for the future of Christian Knows Best and all their projects they're working on, a source. No one knows what's going on and what's about to happen. Well, you know what's about to happen if they go to, if they go to prison. <laughs> The kids tried to, do a, tried to do a show and Todd and Julie each face up to 30 years in prison, but doesn't think they'll receive the maximum sentence because of the nature of their crimes. On tax evasion, it's normally a full sentence. It's not a violent crime. They get anywhere, they get anywhere from 10 years to 15 years, maybe. Only five. One day is too much for me. <laughs> You think one day in prison is too much for me. <laughs> I don't think so. 
Why? Do like normal people do. See how much money you have and work with that. If you gotta work out of a very small house, go work out of a very small house. Don't be no large mansion or something like that to make it look like you're living more than what you're living. Just a normal, regular size house. When we were filming for Burns Barbecue in 2014-15, well, that's another story, but we was out of a regular house. Here's hot news right here. Kendall Jenner and NBA star Devin Brooker break up after two years. I didn't think it was gonna last anyway. This celebrity news. Ooh. This must be breakup season for the Kardashian star's relationship with NBA pro Devin Booker has ended after two years, according to entertainment. After two years. A source told that Kendall feels like they're on different paths, while another insider noted to the outlet that the model and the athlete have had discussions about their future, but they are not on the same page. Kendall and Devin had a rough patch recently and have been split for about a week and a half. You know, I'm going to say this here. I like Kendall. She's very humble. She she's just very humble she's a beautiful model and she's just down to earth so for her and Devin Booker to break up I don't know but like they say on to the next one alrighty Kendall and, and Chloe Chloe breaking up have broken up with Tristan Thompson Kendall with Devin Booker I think you all need to go for some bankers or something. <laughs> Reach out for some bankers. I want to leave that the least alone. That's just my point. That's just my point. Beyonce is releasing a new CD named Break My Soul and it is an ode to the great resignation. The song talks about quitting a job and work or burnout, alluding to a pandemic. Well, listen here, we're gonna be real about this. A lot of people, she have trillions of people following her all over the world, but listen at me. Please listen to me. Don't quit your job behind this song, because guess what? You can't call or contact Beyonce in no way, shape, form, or fashion and say, hey, I quit my job. I love your song. Can you help me out financially? Keep your job. Good she's releasing the song. Keep your job. Now, Elon Musk, Tesla, and SpaceX hit a $258 billion Dogecoin lawsuit. An American citizen is suing the world's richest man for allegedly pumping Dogecoin. A lawsuit alleges that Musk was part of a racketeering scheme to back the cryptocurrency. Defendants falsely and deceptively claim that Dogecoin is a legitimate investment when it has no value at all. Go figure. Johnson is seeking a class action status for the suit and aims to represent other allegedly harmed investors. $258 billion, $258 billion. Why do they want so much money? Why do you want more? It's now the 11th biggest digital asset with a market cap of $7.5 billion. At one point, that figure was as high as $88 billion bigger than the market cap of many companies on the S&P. If they suing him for $258 billion, how much is he actually worth? Like they say, he's the richest man in the country. 
other big names are also in on Doge. Billionaire businessman Mark Cuban, who owns the Dallas Mavericks, has said that he believes Dogecoin has value as a payment system. Now, some of the cryptocurrencies you can use to pay your car note, you can get something to eat, you can do whatever because remember crypto is really basically for people who don't who can't get a bank account but you can use crypto as a digital coin so yeah i'm gonna look into that too <laughs> now on to other news Stephon Curry, in a nutshell, we can talk about the three-pointer he made and he ran away and he still hit three points, the three-pointer from the half-throw line, whatever. We can talk about the stats, too. He had over 3,000 points in three-pointers. He had over 5,800 points in two-pointers. He had over 2,800 2, points in free throws which was a 90.6 conversion. He had over 2,800 assists, might be more than that, totaling all together his complete career, 20,064 points combined, everything. The greatest MVP, four ring champion, and the last of all that I like about Stephon Curry, he's humble with it. Very humble with it. And I love that about him. Here's what Terrell say. When you play and win championships for a franchise, it can be natural to want to reap the equity given to you, i.e. John Elway. Denver Broncos legend Terrell Davis expressed interest in putting his equity to work by having a role in the new Broncos ownership that was up for grabs recently. The potential ownership group pitched a bidding off of between $4.25 billion and $4.5 billion. Now listen, he don't want all of the ownership. He just want part ownership because he feel like he did so much for the Denver Broncos. So why not? Why not just be a player? Why not want to be a leader, want to be part owner, to feel that you're a part of something that you built, that you risked your life for every time you went out there and played? Why not? Well, here's what they say. After playing for the Broncos as a player, this was the only team I played for. And then to have a chance to be part of this ownership group in some capacity, would have been a dream come true. But in between something, the bidding, he even said, it remains to be seen if the new Walter Penner group will pursue a potential Davis role. But we do know they have had talks with Peyton Manning. If you had talks with Peyton Manning, and I like Peyton Manning, then have talks with Terrell Davis. If you haven't talked, with Peyton Manning, you should be having talks with Terrell Davis. They both played a very intricate role in building the Denver Broncos. I think, anyway. So, if you have a comment, leave it in the comments below. I wanna hear your comments. Thanks for watching News in a Flash. Enjoy your day.